Oh, hi everyone and welcome to another session of How to Sigma. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to buy a token with the Sigma Telegram bot. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now in Telegram, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the main menu and to get to the main menu, you can simply click on this little icon here and click on start. You can also type slash and start. And there we have it, the main menu. So we'll click on manual buyer to bring up the menu. And here it's asking me to paste in a token that I'd like to purchase. Now I'm going to go over to CoinGecko and get my token. The token today I'll be trading is Pro. And Pro is a token on the base blockchain. So I'll be using the base blockchain to do my transaction. And I'm going to copy the contract address from CoinGecko. So contract. Here I have for the Ethereum blockchain. So I'm going to choose for the base blockchain. And I'm going to copy that address. Great. And now I'm going to paste it into my Sigma Telegram bot. Enter. And there we have it. Now I have the menu to buy my token. Now the first thing we have are presets for buy. So we have presets of 0.15 ETH, 0.2, 0.3, 1 ETH by maximum transaction or by X amount of ETH. Now, if you click on any of the number presets, your transaction will be sent without any further confirmation. So just be sure that is what you want to do before you do it. Let's talk about the buy max transaction. Now, this button is all about automation. OK, it calculates basically the maximum transaction amount based on the token settings. Now let's go on to buy X amount of ETH. And here you have the flexibility to define the exact amount of ETH you'd like to use to purchase this token. But before we do that, let's go on to wallets. Now here we have wallet number one that is active. Okay. Wallet number two, and we have all. Now in my Sigma Telegram bot, I've actually set up only two wallets. So I have wallet number one and wallet number two. However, in your Sigma Telegram bot, you might have more than two wallets or you might have just one. So it is up to you to have as many wallets as you want. And you can certainly click on the specified wallet that you'd like to make the purchase from. OK, so I want to make my purchase from wallet number two. So I'm going to click on wallet number two and I'll deactivate wallet number one by clicking on it. There we go. Now I can also click on all if I'd like to select all of my wallets. Now let's move on to gas. And here we have the pre settings. Now we have low, medium and high. And these pre settings can be changed on the settings section in the main menu. Now for this purchase, I'd like to customize my gas and to customize my glass. I can simply click on the gas icon. I can customize the amount of Gwei I'd like to spend on this purchase. Now here I have 0 0.09 already selected. Um, I think I want to put 0.15 Gwei to increase uh, my gas a little bit for this purchase. So 0.15 and I'm going to click on enter. And there we have it. Now let's move on to slippage. And here I have slippage at 3%. Now, what happens is when you buy a token with your ETH, if that token has a tax, the tax actually comes out first. So for example, if a token has a 50% tax and you decide to buy one ETH of that token, that tax will drop it down to 0.5 ETH. Now, slippage is about how much you're willing to be flexible. OK, and how much you're willing to accept. And with our tax example, slippage would mean that you might end up anywhere from 0.25 to 0.5 ETH worth of the token. But keep in mind, for tax protection, you can actually select the maximum buy, okay, and the maximum sell taxes in the settings on the main menu, which would help in avoiding tokens with very high taxes. Also, keep in mind, it's important to use slippage on the Binance Smart Chain as there is no anti-MEB. So basically, others can jump in front of you and buy before you do, if that is something that you're looking you know, to avoid. Now, the alpha mode disables all the security checks and the bot lets you buy honeypots. You can buy high taxes. You can buy blacklist projects, you name it. Um, so red is disabled and green is enabled. On the limit order, we have our pre settings for limit order. And here you can see minus 10 percent, minus 33 percent and minus 15 percent or by the market cap and we can find the market cap on the token information up here. 
What this simply means is that you can set a buy order when the price goes down 10%. You can set a buy order when the price goes down at 33%. You can set a buy order when the price goes down 50%. Or you can set a buy order when the market cap actually goes down. Now, if I click on market cap, I can enter, okay, what market cap I'd like to set my limit order to. Let's say 12 million. I'll click on send. And there we have it, okay? Now let's go over the token information that's updated at every block on the blockchain and it re-simulates this information for you. So here we have the token name, Proppy. We have the blockchain that it's on. So it's on the base blockchain. We have the contract address. Here we have the DEX that it's available on. So Uniswap version three. We have the market cap. So it's currently at 13.7 million market cap. Liquidity on Uniswap is currently at 39,900. Transaction fees, and this includes the transaction fees for Sigma, for the gas, everything is included in this fee. We have the token information. We have the buy sell taxes, which is zero. We have maximum transaction, which is, which is none. Okay. Um, burnt and plug. We also have how much ETH I have available on both of my wallet. And as you can see here, monitor refreshes at every block. You also have a base scan that you can go onto because it's on the base network. I have DEX screener, I have DEX tools and defined. So easy information at your fingertips. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click on buy X amount of ETH. Click on buy X amount of ETH and I'll enter the amount of ETH I'd like to buy. Again, to recap, I'm on wallet number two. I'm gonna pay 0.15 GUE in gas. My slippage is at 3%. So I'm gonna enter the amount I'd like to purchase of this token. Now I'm gonna enter 0.009. I'm gonna click on send. And there we have it. Transaction pending. And in the blink of an eye, transaction has been confirmed. And of course I can see my transaction by clicking on hash and going on to base scan. To see my positions, all I need to do is go onto the menu over here and type in positions. And I'll see all my positions that I have on all of my wallets, okay? I've just made my purchase of Proppy, and there we go. And if I click on it here, I can find the details of my position. I can find my, my profit. Right now, I'm not making a profit because I just purchased it. Now, if ever you want to see outdated information about the tokens, you can simply type positions, okay, or go to positions, and you can have a list of all your positions and click on whichever positions you'd like to see, okay, um, for whatever tokens you hold. And that is it for this session of How to Sigma. Join us on the next session where we cover how to sell your tokens.